AG Eosafian All Russia Research Institute of Electromechanics with plant is a unique enterprise. Its history is inseparably linked with that of Russian cosmonautics. The institute's experts participated in designing electrotechnical equipment for the legendary Simurka, the carrier rocket R7, which placed in orbit the first artificial satellite and afterwards the first manned spacecraft of a stock. In 1961, the Institute was awarded the Order of the Red Banner of Labor for implementation of these tasks. Vnyem for Russian space. Nowadays, there is an artificial satellite depicted on the Institute's emblem. Satellite design and production are the core activity of the Institute. The Institute's experts have constructed 73 spacecraft with total flying time of almost 210 years. An active system of spacecraft attitude and solar batteries actuation, that is, those days cutting-edge technical solutions, were applied on the first Institute's satellites put in orbit in 1963, Cosmos 14 and Cosmos 23. These satellites were special labs intended for testing electronics in space. They laid the foundation of future development. The Institute was entrusted with the creation of first Soviet weather satellites. The experimental weather satellite Cosmos 122 was placed in orbit on June 25, 1966. This particular satellite was launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Subsequently, the Institute started designing weather satellites of almost all generations. There were several of them. The Institute's experts welcomed the spring of 1967 with the launch of already two satellites, Cosmos 144 and Cosmos 156. Those made up the first weather space group, which was subsequently reinforced by analogous satellites renamed Meteor. In 1969, this system was brought into operation. The Institute has built equipment for all nuclear power stations in the territory of the former USSR and the Comic-Con countries and also reduced noise actuators for the Project 705 automated nuclear submarine, which according to many experts, was the best ship of the 20th century. Present-day Vnyem is in the forefront of Russian cosmonautics. There have been already created several generations of automated spacecraft Meteor, Meteor Priroda, Resource 01, operating for hydrometeorology, Earth Nature Resources Research and Ecological Monitoring and also the first Russian geostationary hydrometeorological spacecraft, Electro. Before the operation in orbit, each spacecraft passes rigorous testing on the ground. The Institute's testing center is an expert's special delight. Here, satellites undergo mechanical exposure and ultraviolet influence, extreme temperatures and reduced pressure being applied. They are placed in a vacuum and an anechoic chamber. Nowadays, Institute's experts work on the hydrometeorological space complex Meteor-3M. The first apparatus, called Meteor-M1, was launched on the 17th of September 2009. Its operation has significantly simplified navigation throughout the North Sea Lane, helping discover new beds of minerals and, in addition, forecasting earthquakes, floods and other natural calamities, given a timely warning thereof. This satellite will define ice thickness, unfrozen water patches width and clefts and ascertain the fact whether ice is new or old. The information is going to be transmitted to icebreakers' captains who will be able to correct their ship's course in a more proper way. Meteor's data provides for operational information on water environment condition and respect of the rules of continental shelf use in the exclusive economic zone of the Russian Federation. Hydrometeorology has become a topical issue in the world. It's namely what people need and each country with an access to outer space should have its own hydrometeorological system. We need to know what the weather is like. Furthermore, Meteor is important for fundamental science as well. The satellite is analyzing the sheet of ice in the ocean's subpolar water areas. 
freezing seas and also large lakes of temperate latitudes. A satellite's ecological mission consists in monitoring the dynamics of the ocean's pollution and foremost, timely revealing and defining the area of petrochemical product spills. A new oceanographic satellite Meteor-M is expected to be placed in orbit in 2012. It will be equipped with an onboard multimode radio locator invented by means of application of the so-called AFAR technology, an active phased array. Similar radars are installed on latest generation fighter planes, bringing new modes into service, and characteristics improvement will enable to broaden significantly the list of missions to be fulfilled and will impart a new quality to the onboard info complex. Two spacecrafts Archon will make up a Russian space radar system, being created by VNI-M, as well as to make it possible to acquire radio locating images of metric dimension, regardless of weather conditions, day and night. Besides, the Institute specialists have designed three specialized satellites – Canopus-D, Canopus-K and Canopus-R. These are the satellites of visible surveillance range with an optical electronic filling. The latter enables to observe the Earth's surface in dimension of 1 to 2 meters, which presents a great importance for the number of industry and economy branches. Guaranteed operating life in orbit is 7 years. It's a satellite of highly operational and detailed surveillance of the Earth's surface. It will run for all branches of our economy – forestry, oceanography, agriculture, cartography and in case of emergency situations. All Russia Research Institute of Electromechanics is one of the leading enterprises of Russian space industry. One can assuredly say that this particular enterprise, this institute, is able to produce competitive equipment not only within the borders of this country, but also for various international projects. The satellites of nowadays are extremely complex units, facing ever greater demands made by both academic circles and economy goals. Therefore, the Institute's chief aim is to meet and even exceed the present-day requirements.